yoga. We have a fun class for you. Shoes off, everyone. Find your towel or mat. Sit down in easy pose with us. Join us. We'll start with a little bit of deep breathing before we get active. So I want you to sit up tall. <laughs> Oliver's always got to start with a yawn. But for now, I'd like you to try to keep your lips closed and breathe through your nose. And if you can do that through the whole class, great. So I want you to sit up tall, hands are on your knees. Good. Stretch a little bit taller. The crown of your head is up to the ceiling. I want you to pull your shoulders back a little bit. Awesome. I want you to actually lift your hands out of your lap, just like this. Your palms are towards each other. And as you inhale through your nose, you're going to widen your hands and open them very smoothly with your breath. And as you exhale out your nose, you're going to bring your palms back towards each other. So we're moving slow motion, trying to match your own breath. Really slow and long inhale through your nose. And then exhale and bring those palms towards each other. Just a couple more times. This is how we practice our deep breathing. Filling your lungs with oxygen on every inhale. And then slowly letting that air out on every exhale. One more. All right, we're gonna move facing the side into child's pose. We're gonna, we're gonna start some sun salutations, which if you've done a couple classes, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll learn as you go. So child's pose is like this. And I want you to stretch your arms out in front of you. And then we're gonna move into plank, but on our knees. So I come on to plank, which means that you push your hips down in line with your body. So maybe you need to walk your or knees back a little bit. There you go, and then hips down. So you have a straight line between your knees and your shoulders. There it is. Now crocodile down, use your arms. And then cobra, lift your upper body. Stop here in cobra. I want you to notice how your knees are still down on the ground and your chest is open and you're looking forward. That's cobra. Now you push back, you keep your knees down, push back into child's pose. We're just doing this. We're going to repeat again. Here we go. Forward plank on your knees. Crocodile down. Cobra. And then push back to child's pose. Again, here we go. Plank. Crocodile. Cobra. Child's pose. Last time like this. Plank. Crocodile. Cobra. And child's pose. All right. We're going to learn the difference between cobra and up dog as we move into our full sun salutation. So we start in child's pose, but this time when we shift forward to plank, I want you to come all the way up on your toes so that only your toes and hands are touching. So this is our regular plank. Hips down, Oliver. Plank. There you go. Find that position. Now we crocodile down. Don't lower your knees. Let's try again. Come back to plank. Do not let your knees touch the floor. Ooh. <laughs> Crocodile down, and now up dog. Our knees are off the floor. We're on the tops of our feet, and this is up dog. So Oliver hates this. So to Oliver, go back to cobra, which just means that his knees are on the floor, and his arms are straight. There's cobra. See the difference? Maggie, show up dog. Her knees aren't touching. So I'm going to call it up dog from now on, and you choose which one you like, OK? Now we're going to down dog. So curl your toes under, down dog. Okay, now let's start flowing with this again. Plank. Crocodile. Up dog. Down dog. Now we're going to step through and come to a stand as we sweep upward and then in chair. Good. Sit back through your heels. Remember in chair, we should be able to wiggle our toes. Can you wiggle your toes? As you sit <laughs> back deeper into your chair. That's hard. Okay, so here we go. Sweep upward, take a big breath, inhale, and exhale down to forward fold. It's a good warm-up. Ooh, monkey. 
We remember, come up with that flat back, and then forward fold, and then plank. Good, strong plank. You're looking at the floor, so you have a nice straight neck. Crocodile down. Up dog. Down dog. Step or hop through. You can hop with both feet. Sweep upward. End in chair. Sit back. Sit in chair. <laughs> Challenge yourself. Stay right here in chair. This is a tough one to hold. But it makes our legs stronger. And that's one reason we practice yoga is to, to gain strength. Also flexibility. So let's get warm so we can gain flexibility too. And sweep down to forward fold. Monkey. Flat back. Good. Forward fold. Plank. Crocodile down. Up dog. Down dog. Step or hop through. Sweep up. End in chair. How are you doing at home with sun salutations? This is part of your homework I'm giving you. If you don't quite know them, just practice. Just try to do it on your own later. See if you can remember the order of things. Here we go. One more time. Sweep up. And swan dive down. Monkey. Hold. And then plank. Strong bodies. Crocodile down. Up dog. Down dog. Step or hop through. And come on up. And in chair. Good. Okay, stand in mountain pose. Face us for a moment. Reset yourself. So mountain pose is like a chance for us just to stop for a moment. Make sure we're ready to move on. Notice how we're feeling. Are we all good? Take a couple deep breaths through your nose, long and slow. Okay, so the sun salutations are a way of warming up our body so that we can go into new poses. And we are going to go into bird dog, which we practiced last time. Hmm, bird dog, right? Okay, let's think about this. Let's do it together. Face the side again. And we're gonna do the same thing. Might as well get a good reach up and then we're gonna hang down. All right, so now we're gonna go down on hands and knees. Ah, now do we remember bird dog? Oh, Maggie's thinking. Everybody take your... Maggie, you switch yours. Right leg out. Get home, take your right leg back behind you first. Palms are down on the floor. So put your knee back down, because if you're struggling, like all of us are struggling a little bit, and there's a reason for it. We didn't stop and set ourselves up perfect, Oliver, so that our wrists are under our shoulders and our knees are under our hips, because if you didn't do that to start, you're going to be off balance, and then you can't do this if you're off balance. This is about aligning your spine and your body. Okay, so move slowly into this with us. Look here so that you have a straight neck. See, we shouldn't be looking at our knees. Right leg extends out long. Right leg. And then left arm. There's our bird dog. So look down, breathe through your nose. Nice straight, long body. Look here, Oliver, look here, there you go. Put it down, let's try the other side. Take a breath. Okay, left leg. Take it out long and strong behind you. And your right arm extends out in front, stretch long. And then put it down. And rest back in child's pose for a moment. Good. Was that tough? That's, all, that's one of those that you can practice more to get better at. All right, we're gonna go into down dog. Watch me for a second though. You guys stay here. Down dog, we're gonna learn crouching down dog, which just means we lower our knees to almost touch the floor and then we push into down dog again. So we bend the knees and straighten them. All right, ready with me, down dog. This one, you do look at your feet. Allow your head to hang. Okay, crouching down dog. 
Lower the knees, almost touch the mat, and then straighten them again. And we're just gonna flow nice and easy, crouching down dog and regular down dog. Crouching and red dog. Good, couple more. And then we're gonna step or hop our feet up towards our hands. Come on up. Oh, big reach. Okay. Good. Moving on. Mountain pose. Strong. Good posture. Standing tall. We'll do our volcano. Go back to thinking about our breath. You remember volcano? We're gonna center our hands. We're gonna inhale slowly through the nose. And we exhale as the volcano, as the lava comes out of the volcano, and we move smoothly with our breath. Constantly. Don't wait for us, or don't speed through it. Kind of try to follow your own breath. Maybe you just kind of hear your breath as you breathe through your nose. Because it's kind of exaggerated. Almost like a hum. I'm not really humming, but. Can you exaggerate that breath through your nose so you can hear it? One more. <laughs> Wonderful ending mountain. Okay. We're ready to move on to elephant swings. Widen your feet a little bit. Okay, so an elephant has one trunk where we have two. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But go ahead and let both of your trunks swing as you turn your shoulders. Those are ears. Their ears? Their ears? Yeah. Elephant swings. Maybe the elephant is swinging his ears. Oh, that makes sense, Oliver. Okay. They do. They do that, don't they? Some of those elephants that have really huge ears. Oh, like Dumbo. <laughs> I should call this Dumbo. <laughs> Well, uh, this just kind of helps loosen up, kind of twist the spine a little bit. You guys remember what your spine is? Your backbone? Yep. Kind of helps it loosen up and twist. Okay, now we're ready for some balance. We are going to combine two balance poses. Okay, so remember what tree is. Tree is we're standing on one leg, okay? But instead of growing branches, we're gonna have an eagle in our tree. <laughs> yes, eagle, those twisted arms. Okay, so we will have our same tree trunk, but we'll have eagle arms. So everybody at home, stand on your right leg. That's your tree trunk. Stand on this leg for us, stand on this leg for us. Good, so remember you're strong through your tree trunk. Don't do your arms yet. I want you to start with just the legs and make sure you're good and balanced first. If you wanna set that other foot uh, in, inside your leg and you're standing strong and we're balanced and we're breathing and if you're ready to put the eagle in your tree, twist those arms up and try to stay right there. So this one is even harder than regular tree. Breathe through your nose and try to stay still. I think that one's pretty fun. Untwist. Go back to your elephant swings before we go on to the other side. We're just gonna loosen up. <laughs> His elephant ears are smacking mine. <laughs> Okay, let's see how we are on the other side. So your left leg is your tree trunk now. It's good and strong and stable. Remember, it's rooted. Like, imagine there's roots growing into the ground so that you're not gonna move. So we're standing on this leg this time. There we go. Okay. And this knee is out to the side, okay? Right, oh, and you can keep that foot on the ground or you can put it up on your leg. Find your balance first. If you don't quite have it, put your toe on the floor. This knee's out to the side, and just put your knee, your toe on the floor. Okay? And keep it there. All right? I'd rather you be strong like a tree and be able to have that eagle land in your tree. First, you gotta be a strong tree. Now invite the eagle to join. <laughs> Wrap your arms. 
awesome. <laughs> try to avoid hopping around. The idea is to try to stay still. So if you need to touch your toe down in order to stay here nice and still, that's what you do. Okay, elephant swings. Go back again. Whether you're imagining you have two trunks or you have two ears, swing them. Let them wrap around your body. Okay, we got through our balance. All right. Let's face the side again. We're gonna inchworm down. Face this way with us. Awesome. Inchworm. Let's think. Do you guys know how an inchworm moves? So our bodies are like inchworms, and we're gonna crawl our hands out, and you stop once you get to plank, and then you crawl your hands back to your feet, and you roll up, bringing your head up last. And just keep going slowly. Especially when you move slowly and smoothly. Here's an orange worm. Good. So when you come down, Maggie, you're actually gonna try to try to not bend your knees much if it's possible. Can you? Can you come down? I mean, that slightly is okay, but not not bending them all the way. Depends on how long your legs and arms are and how well this works for you. It's okay to bend the knees. Okay, last time. And I actually want you to roll on back down because we're gonna do some cat and cow. So again, let's find ourselves on hands and knees. Okay. Find that good alignment before we do this. Make sure your hands are flat and your wrists are under your shoulders. Make sure your knees are under your hips. So if your knees are right next to each other, they're not tight under your hips. Separate them a little bit. Not your feet, your knees. Separate your knees. Just separate my knees. A little bit more. All right. Cat and cow is also good for our spine. Cat stretch. Oh, stretch it like a cat. And then cow, lowering the center of your back and lifting the head, Oliver, when you do cow. There you go. Cow's head is up and his butt is up. And keep going back and forth from cat and cow. Imagine what your spine looks like in your body. There's a bunch of vertebrae, all of these bones stacked on top of each other. And it's amazing how we can move our back because of that. And this help, helps to keep our vertebrae healthy. Just doing this cat and cow. All right, I'm ready for a new pose. Yeah. Camel. Camel we only want to do when we are warm and our spine is warm because it's a back bend. <laughs> Come up high on your knees, just like I am. Good, make sure your knees are separated. Just, we should be in that position already. Not our feet though, Oliver. <laughs> That'll be important on this one. Okay, so I want you to make fists and put them into your lower back and pull your elbows towards each other behind your back. And now we arch. This is called camel. We're opening the chest and pulling our shoulders back, but we're not dropping our head, we're looking forward. Now, if this is tough, then maybe stay there or maybe get out of the pose. If you're feeling flexible like Maggie is, and you can reach your hands to your heels, this is also camel. It's just more of a back bend. Don't drop your head. We're not looking at the ceiling. We're looking out in front of us, at the wall in front of us. Uh, it's okay, Oliver, go back to putting your fists in your back. And that's fine. That's a good way to help your spine be more flexible. Whichever one you can do. All right, after that, we wanna gently go into child's pose and you're gonna feel your back fall. Go ahead and put your forehead to the floor and you can wrap your hands around or you can reach them out. This is very close to being our next pose, actually. Come up slightly so you can see us. 
And I want you to curl your toes under so that you are kind of like you're sitting on your heels. Keep your knees on the floor. We're going into rabbit. So close. I want you to hold your heels. And then I want you to put your forehead as close to your knees as you can on the floor. This is rabbit right here. Not every pose feels good. If you don't like it, then go back into child's pose. You don't have to have your toes curled under. If it, if it hurts, don't do it. That's kind of our rule in yoga. All right, so we learned two new ones. Let's try them one more time so we remember them. We're going into camel. Come on up, high on your knees, long through the spine, and then we arch either with our fists in our back and pulling those elbows towards each other or to your heels. Got to make sure your knees are separated, Oliver, or it's not going to work. There you go. And you learn that alignment as you do these different poses. You learn about your body and the ways that you can and maybe can't move. <laughs> okay, and into rabbit, curl the toes under, hold the heels, keep the knees down, and forehead close to the knees. Two more animals we've just learned. Of course, we will play a game to see if you guys can remember some of these poses. Come on up, everybody, to your feet, standing. Okay, so we're gonna play this game where I turn on music, maybe a little more active, louder music. And awesome. I want you to be active, I want you to be silly, don't break anything in your living room. But it's your time to kind of get your energy out while the music's playing. When I stop the music, I'm going to call out a pose and see if you can remember that pose and get into it. But remember to be careful. You don't want to flop into a pose and hurt yourself. Think about it and then get into that pose when the music stops. Okay, let's see how smart we are. Let's see what we've learned. Okay, everybody's standing in mountain pose. Thinking as you hear the the name of the pose. And these guys aren't gonna get into it right away because I don't want them to show you. I want you to think for yourself. So here comes the music. I think I'm gonna turn it up so you guys can hear. All right, music's on. You guys go ahead and be silly. Be silly. Move around. I want you active. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Go for it. Whatever you want. You don't have to do what Maggie and Oliver are doing. I just want you to move your body. Are you moving? Are you moving? Maggie's doing some cartwheels. Ooh. If you have a lot of room in your living room, you can do that. Oliver's just spinning circles. Ready. Okay, music's off. Superman. These two are gonna stand in mountain. I want you to move into Superman. Oh, we didn't do this today. You would have had to have done another class with us. Maybe if you, if you don't know what it is, you could guess. Are you in Superman at home? Move into that pose. And now, let's see if you're right. Give us a hint. Um, is this a standing, a seated? Uh, pose where you're on your belly or your back. Which one, Oliver? Superman. Belly. You're on your belly at home. Go ahead. Show us, you two, what Superman looks like. Exactly like you're flying. Your arms and legs are off the ground, but your belly's on the ground. Perfect. Music on. Let's move. Move around, guys. At home, just move. Jump around, maybe jumping jacks. Maybe it's push-ups, maybe you're crawling. Maybe you're running in place. All right, monkey. These guys are gonna stand in mountain. At home, you're going into monkey pose. So they're not gonna show you. I want you to think for yourself, monkey. All right, Maggie, give them a hint. Is this standing, seated, on your belly, on your back? Standing. It is, a, we'll consider it a standing pose. Okay, you two, show them monkey. Monkey, perfect. Flat back, your hands are like on your knees. Yes, 
We do this as part of our sun salutations. Awesome, we got it. Let's move. You gotta be moving though. Even if you're on the floor, there you go. <laughs> Come on, Dad, you have a screen. She is moving. <laughs> All right, return to your mat, turtle. You two just stand in mountain at home, turtle. Oh, another one we did not do today. You would have to have watched another oh. video to learn turtle. So, hmm, Oliver, what kind of pose is this? Belly. Standing, seated, belly, or back. It's seated because your bottom is on the floor. Your bottom's on the floor. We'll consider it seated, but Oliver's right. Um, show us, both of you, turtle. What does turtle look like? See? Yeah, your belly is down. He's right, and you're also seated. So there's turtle. Poke your head up out of your shell. And there you go. All right, everybody up. Come on. Let's get some exercise. Let's jump around. Maybe you pretend like you have a jump rope. All right, everybody standing. Come back on your mat and show us cow. These guys aren't showing you yet. They're not showing you yet. Don't give them any hints. Cow, think for yourself at home. Give them a hint. Maggie. It is belly. Yeah, your belly is down or face down when you're in cow. It's not standing. Definitely not. Cow? Hmm. Oh, yes. We thought about it. Okay, show them, guys. Cow. We did this today. There you go. All right, back to it. <laughs> you guys are so silly, I love it. Okay, tabletop. Don't show them yet. Stand, Oliver. But at home, tabletop. Hmm. Oliver, give him a hint. What kind of pose is this? Hmm. Uh, back. Yeah, you're like your belly is up. Mm -hmm. Kind of your back is down. down. Yeah, exactly. Okay, show them, guys. Tabletop. Tabletop. All right, let's keep going. We're getting some exercise today, getting the heart rate up. There you go. <laughs> what is that? Are you guys doing some silly things at home too? I hope so. This should be fun. All right, I'll give you an easy one. Down dog. You two stand in mountain. Everybody at home, down dog. Down dog. I bet you're in this quickly. What kind of pose is it, Oliver? Um, belly? Yeah, your belly is down, your face down. Go ahead and show him down dog. Wait. Yeah. Okay. We should be nice and warm. Come on, move, move, move. <laughs> You're moving at home too, right? Okay, bird dog. They're not going to show you, but they're going to think about it. Hmm, we did it today. Bird dog. What kind of a pose would we consider bird dog, Maggie? Belly? Yeah. Your face down? Yeah. Okay, show them, guys. See if we can do it this time. Nice and long and strong. Make sure they're opposite arm and leg, Maggie. It's really hard to do the same side. There you go. You're balanced and you have opposite arm and leg, which are all of our opposites. I know. Okay, Maggie, you're doing the same. I know. Opposites. It's not harder to do. <laughs> it's not harder to do. Okay. Couple more. Let's move. One more, see if you can remember this from a 
podcast class. Okay, last one is boat. Think about it. Don't show them here yet. Boat pose. We did it in our last class. Yeah? Hmm. Do we remember what kind of pose it is? Maggie, what kind of pose is it? Yeah, I would agree. We're seated. Everybody at home, boat pose. We'll join you in boat pose. Let's show them. You're seated. Your legs are off the ground. Your palms are up. There's boat pose. Okay, we're going to end the class with a new pose. It's called dead bug. And happy baby. Okay, so we're laying on our backs. Look at them. This has two names. If you are laying still and holding onto your feet, it's like a dead bug. They they stiffen up and their like legs stick up. But if you want to rock side to side on your back, we call it happy baby because babies like to play with their feet and they like to roll on their backs when they do it. So there you go, there's your new pose to end class. And thanks for doing yoga with us. It was fun today, guys.